So anyway, we're giving ourselves a bit of a challenge here today. We're going to do two bakes. We're going to bake up some bread rolls, which we'll make by hand, and we're going to bake up a loaf, which we'll do in the bread making machine. So you up for the challenge? Sure you are. So let's just bake it. Hello and welcome to Let's Just Bake It. Today we're going to make some basic, simple bread rolls. So first thing we've got some water, it's lukewarm water, uh, about 300 grams of water. And we want to put some yeast in there, about a teaspoonful of yeast. Okay, give that one a mix around. And then leave it to stand for a few minutes, maybe 10, 12 minutes. Let the yeast work. So the rest of the ingredients, uh, we've got flour, and this is a, a bread making flour, um, and we want 500 grams of that. Some melted butter, two tablespoonfuls of that, um, the yeast and water we talked about a minute ago. Um, salt, uh, about a teaspoon and a half of that one as well, uh, which we'll mix all in together. So, let's get the salt in to start with. One and about a half there. Okay, so we'll mix that in together, and we're going to make a bit of a well so that we can pour in our yeast and water mix. and our melted butter. So with this all mixed in together, we just wanted to just gently mix it up, get it all mixed together, and we're trying to get a bit of a dough, probably a bit of a tacky, sticky tacky dough to start with. There we go, we can see it's all coming together there. We're going to turn this down to a chopping board now and just knead it for eight to ten minutes. Okay. Got some flour on the board to try and stop it sticking, but if it does still stick, just put a bit more flour on your board. Okay, that's looking much, much better there now. So just make that into a bit of a, a ball of dough. Okay, and we get a bowl, glass bowl, or any bowl, <laughs> and we'll put that in the bowl. Okay, so we'll just put uh, some cling film over the bowl, and then put that into a warm place for about half an hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes or so, uh, and then check it again, and uh, it should have actually grown in size. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, let's see how this uh, dough mix has worked out. That's better. Right, we'll get this mix out onto the board. paddles we'll just need this a bit longer I'm hoping to make about eight mini rolls out of this one 
And you could use your hands on this. We'll just pull it apart a little bit with our hands as well. Pat it down and get rid of any sort of gas that may build up in built up in the mixture. I want to work with this for another sort of two or three minutes. Okay, you can see the it's nice and spongy that's about that's looking good so just make a sort of a bit of a, a ball up with it and we just want to sort of flatten it out that should do so we want to get about eight rolls out of this So just get into it ready. Cut it in halves and quarters and eighths. Okay, so we've got eight partitions of dough mix now. So what we want to do is grab one of these. We'll put a bit of flour onto your hand to try and stop it sticking. But what we want to do is try to roll this up into a little ball. Okay, and we'll do that with the others as well. So with a baking tray, just place some greaseproof paper over the tray and place them on the tray. Right, I'm just going to cut them in the middle. Right, so with these, just put a towel over the top of them and leave them for about an hour, hour and a half, and then check they should have expanded in their size and ready to go into the oven then. So I think these rolls will be ready for baking now. But before putting them in the oven, I'm going to just glaze them, and this is optionally down to do this but um, I've got some olive oil here which I'm just going to glaze over the top of them you know it's really sort of personal choice really if you want to do this or not okay back my top sheet off the oven has been preheated now for a few minutes and we've turned it down to gas mark 5 or 190 degrees centigrade and bake these rolls for about 15 minutes. So these rolls have been in and out for about 15 minutes and they should be ready to come out. <laughs> and they are, look at that, it's gorgeous. So we'll just leave those to cool down now. Nice. Look at that, lovely. Often when I make loaves of bread, I use this mini bread oven. Very, very convenient. Um, you can purchase uh, bread flour, uh, which has usually got yeast in it as well. And that makes it very simple. Uh, just pour the contents of the flour in it, add water, follow your instructions, 
and uh, away you go. Uh, basic loaf, very, very easy. You can add additional ingredients in if you so wish, such as cheese or jalapenos or olives. Um, again, the choice is yours really. But uh, yeah, very easy way to make a bread loaf. So the loaf I'm going to make today is a cheese loaf. Uh, so we're gonna need some cheese, which we'll grate up later on. Uh, bread flour, uh, 500 grams of that. Uh, yeast, and we'll put about a teaspoonful of that in there. Uh, salt, about a teaspoonful of that as well, and 320 millilitres of warm water. Okay, so first we're going to grate some cheese. It's up to you how much you put in here. Um, usually, myself, I go for about 100 grams. But uh, yeah, grate the cheese up. You can put more in if you like for more flavouring. So with the flour, we're going to add in about a teaspoonful of yeast and about a teaspoonful of salt. Okay, now I'm just going to add something a little extra uh, in this one, which is a preference to me. You might like it or might not, but uh, yeah, it's just some mustard seed and that should again just enhance the flavouring. So not too much of that. We're going to put about a teaspoonful of that in there as well. And then we'll crush those down and add that to the mix. So we have the mustard seed now. And just give them a bit of a mix around. You could, if you want to, put cracked black pepper in here as well. All it helps with the taste. And with the bread oven, we take out the bread tin to start with. And then add our mix to the tin. And with your additional ingredients, uh, in this case the cheese, there's two ways you could do this. You could add it in at the beginning, which is what I'm going to do. Or you could wait as the uh, bread is getting baked up, the machine will bleep uh, about halfway through its baking process, in which case you can open the lid up and then add extra ingredients in then if you so wish. But as I say, I'm going to add these all in at the start. And the next thing is your 320 millilitres of warm water. And we'll put the bread loaf into the machine. And then set it to your desired settings. Grams of loaf as well. Press start button. Well, that's about all we can do at the moment. Uh, according to the timer, it's going to take just over three hours. Um, so we'll come back and have a look and uh, see what the loaf looks like. So this bread loaf's nearly done now and there's a couple more minutes of uh, cooking time with this machine uh, but before it stops I'm just going to baste the top of the bread with some olive oil. That's looking good. So let's take a look at the bread. Oh yes. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so let's get this bread out of here. And there we have it. One loaf. Very nice. Still very hot as well. So there we have it, some basic bread making. I hope you've enjoyed the film. If you have, please put a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>